Hello and welcome everyone to Junior Network. I am your host, Junior. Welcome back to Junior Network family. It's been a while since we last connected, but I'm thrilled to be back with some exciting updates for you all. And what better way to kick things off with some news about the highly anticipated Michael Jackson biopic, Michael. As reported by Variety, Michael Jackson biopic adds Cat Graham as Diana Ross and Lorenz Tate as Barry Gordy. Quoting Variety, the upcoming Michael Jackson biopic, Michael is embracing the Motown sound, announcing key casting, including Lorenz Tate as Motown Records founder, Barry Gordy, and Cat Graham as the legendary Diana Ross. As quoted by Variety, as the film chronicles Jackson's rise to prominence first as a member of the Jackson 5, then as a solo artist, the record label will factor in significantly. Power franchise star Tate, who coincidentally played thriller producer Quincy Jones in 2004's Ray, takes on Motown impresario Gordy, who redefined American music by platforming such acts as The Jackson 5, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, The Temptations, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, The Four Tops, Gladys Knight and the Pips, and Diana Ross and the Supremes. Actress Kat Graham, known for her roles in Love in the Villa and Tyler Perry's upcoming film Black, White, and Blue, will portray Diana Ross as the lead singer of the Supremes. Ross was instrumental in introducing the Jackson 5 to the world and remained an influential figure in Michael Jackson's life. But that's not all, family. The film has also added some other talented actors to the cast. We have actress Jessica Sula, known for her role in Split, will play Latoya Jackson, Michael's older sister. Sister, Liv Simone, who stars in Power Book 3, Raising Cana, will play Gladys Knight, another iconic Motown artist. Kevin Shinnick, known for his work on Robot Chicken, will portray legendary TV host of American Bandstand, Dick Clark, and Kaylin Darrell Jones. From Other Two and How to Die Alone will play Bill Bray, Michael Jackson's former security turned trusted friend, father figure, and confidant. Finally, Kendrick Sampson, known for his role in Insecure, will play Quincy Jones, the industry icon who first met Michael Jackson at the age of 12 and went on to collaborate with him on some of his most successful albums. As you can see, the cast of Michael is filled with talented and diverse actors who will bring this story to life. This film is currently in production and I can't wait to see the final product. Since it's been a while, family, and I haven't caught up with previous casting news, I'm gonna do a quick rundown right now. Now we have actress Laura Harrier, who is best known for her work in Spider-Man Homecoming, and she is a Screen Actors Guild Award nominee for her work in Spike Lee's Black Klansman. She will be portraying the pioneering music executive Suzanne Pass. We have eight talented actors who will portray Jackson siblings over their two time periods. We have Jamal R. Henderson playing a older version of Jermaine Jackson in the film's later years, while Jaden Harville plays the younger version of Jermaine Jackson. Trey Hunter will play the older version of Marlon, while Jalen Lynn Hunter plays the younger version of Marlon. We have Ryan Hill who will play the older version of Tito, while Judah Edwards play the younger version of Tito. Joseph David Jones will play the older version of Jackie Jackson, while Nathaniel Logan McIntyre will play the younger version of Jackie. <laughs> Whitewash wear. Overall, Michael is shaping up to be a star-studded and powerful retelling of Michael Jackson's life and career. I'm thrilled to see the Motown sound being embraced in the film, and I have no doubt that the talented cast and crew will do justice to the legendary artist's legacy. Now, keep an eye out for more updates on Michael and all things Junior Network. Until next time, family, peace out. All right, fam, that's it for today. Now, before we end this video, I just want to say thank you to all of you for watching. It means a lot to me that you take time to watch my videos and support my channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. You don't want to miss out on any future videos. 
Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell too. That way, you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. Remember, always do your due diligence and stay true to yourself. Until next time, peace out.